it is time for my final thought. Now, one year ago today, 19-year-old gunman Nicholas Cruz opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, killing 17 students and staff members and injuring 17 more. It is the deadliest high school shooting in American history. Now, at that moment, our country was at a turning point. How many more mass shootings were we willing to endure? When were thoughts and prayers going to be considered an insufficient response to the mass casualties and broken lives left behind in the aftermath of chaos and terror? When were we going to stop mourning for a week and then returning to the status quo? These are the questions that survivors and classmates of the deceased in Parkland openly asked the entire world in the wake of the personal trauma they'd all just endured. But they didn't just ask questions, they took action. These amazing young men and women organized and became politically activated to create the change they wanted to see for future generations. They organized a March for Our Lives, shining a national spotlight on gun violence and how it affects communities throughout the country. They also called out people in positions of power, people that politicians and grown adults were reluctant to go after due to their levels of political and economic influence. It activated people on both sides of the aisle, young and old, which ultimately is great for our democracy. Now this Valentine's Day and each moving forward, we should salute these students who would have been absolutely within their rights to remain private and heal for using their anguish to inspire us all to be better. Emma Gonzalez, David Hogg, and everybody else who worked tirelessly, endured criticism, and bared their souls to the world, I commend you. And also to those young people on the other side of the political aisle who also felt inspired to act, I commend you as well. Thank you all for inspiring us.